Hello everyone. Welcome to Christian College for 2022. And it's uh, really my pleasure to be back here um, with the opportunity to speak to you all. Uh, we're looking forward to the year ahead. Of course, it's going to be a little bit uncertain for a while and we've certainly heard lots about uh, the circumstances of the return to school and some of the new and unique things that we're going to have to navigate just for this little while. But I want to focus on the, the positives. You know, the, the 260 plus new families that are joining us this year, our 37 new staff that are coming into the fold as part of our family, and the wonderful opportunity that we'll have to welcome back existing families and students and staff to this year ahead. I just want to just navigate a few things with us all. COVID has been a really testing and difficult time for it all of our community, not just our school, but for our nation and for indeed the world. But as we focus on a new year, I want us to really be thinking about, you know, the fact that we are part of a, a, a Christian community, one that cares for each other. And I've certainly had personal experience of that during my illness, where people have been just overwhelmingly generous with their um, good wishes and their prayer for support. Um, during my recovery. As we move into this new year, I'm really encouraging everyone to be respectful and kind to each other in the way that we speak to each other, the way we address each other, students, staff and families as we just find our feet coming back together as a community for this new year. I want everyone to be thinking about others supporting one another, caring for each other, and, and being open to um, encouraging and nurturing each of us as we um, journey through school. The school year is going to commence. Uh, there will be uh, protocols that uh, you will have already received. Um, we ask that everyone conducts themselves within those guidelines in terms of the requirements of um, taking rapid antigen tests and the like. It's part of the way that we can all contribute to keeping each other safe. The same with mask wearing and uh, the expectations regarding uh, how we uh, move around our community. There will be many of the activities that we find positive about the school that will go ahead as planned. But there might be some that need to be delayed, some that might need to be revised, and uh, we hope certainly that uh, they will occur in the richness and the fullness of time for our community. But we just ask that people understand that, uh, and that are patient, that we just need to navigate so many rules and regulations in order for those events to happen safely and within the guidelines that are presented to us. The college is always endeavouring to provide the very best for our students. The only time that we're not able to conduct those uh, activities or those events is when it's not safe or permitted for us to do so. And I just ask that everyone's patient in terms of their expectations. The new year also brings about exciting possibilities of the, the new English language building that's nearing completion at the senior campus, state-of-the-art learning facilities for our, our senior students and a home for Taylor House. Uh, we're also really excited about the, uh, the new wardrobe that will be introduced and uh, just seeing and hearing of the way that families have embraced the, uh, and purchased that wardrobe um, has been um, so positive to hear. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing students in their uh, mix and match wardrobe in the coming weeks. But you know, we've got so much to embrace about this community. The learning, the teaching and learning program is first class. We're going to extend the continuation of our strategic plan for education, enhance our teaching and learning. Our teachers are undergoing um, professional growth programs to improve the way that they can meet the needs of our students. And we have the privilege to teach amazing young people, young people who are e excited about learning and eager to learn, to learn about themselves and to learn about the world around them. And that's what just gives me so much um, excitement about being an educator and being in schools. And I just look forward to the, the journey that lies ahead of us together as we as a community navigate 
what 2022 has in store for us. I look forward to sharing that with you. God bless you.